If you've got a streaming device, or perhaps more than one plugged into your TV, you've dealt with the inevitable question of where to place it once it's connected. I'm Erin for Best Buy Canada's blog and TechGadgetsCanada.com, and if you have some furniture, great. But what happens if your TV is wall-mounted? Many of us have gotten creative with ways to attach the device to the TV or to the wall, from double-sided tape to Velcro and more. But if you're going to the trouble of wall mounting for a clean look, you might want a sleeker, tidier solution for the streaming box too. I just found out about the Sanus streaming device panel. I had a chance to test one out and I'll tell you what I found. Heads up if you end up liking this video and finding it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it helps us keep making more videos we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. The Sanus Streaming Device Panel, or BASP-1, is a metal grid that affixes to the back of your TV or your wall mount and securely hides small AV streaming devices and TV accessories behind the television. Mounting hardware and straps are included to ensure a secure installation. The Sanus Streaming Device Panel attaches to the back of the TV using screws or to your wall mount using special hooks. Now you can't exceed three pounds in streaming devices on this mount and you'll need to make sure the total weight isn't too much for the TV or the wall mount. Now I was hoping to install the panel on my new Hisense Roku 4K TV, but sadly there was just really no place to properly secure it either on the brand new TV or the brand new wall mounting bracket. So while Sanus might call this device universal, I don't think it is. You need to use the wall mount screw brackets to install it, or you can install it attached to the wall mount itself. And the location of the available spots on my new TV and the new wall mount bracket just didn't make that an option. Now I could have installed it on the TV upside down, but after a call to Sanus support, I realized that's not a great idea since installing it with the single point of contact at the bottom will likely find gravity eventually pulling it down. Instead, I decided to try it on my new Samsung 8K QLED TV, and fortunately I was able to find a suitable spot for it, especially since this TV wasn't wall mounted. I will say the panel comes with a plethora of screws, washers, and spacers, so I figured I should be able to get a good fit easily. Not so fast. While I found the right gauge of screw, it was slightly too long and no other options were available in the package in that gauge. The spacers were also all too big, so I ended up getting creative and added some extra washers. That seemed to work and provide a relatively secure attachment, though it did still have some play in it. Next, to attach my Roku Ultra streaming device, and here I noticed a flaw in the panel. You definitely want to attach the included Velcro straps vertically to prevent the weight of your streaming device from letting it slide out of the strap, but there's really no good place to wrap the straps back through and to hold it, either at the top or at the bottom, particularly not with a device of this size. Despite all these holes, the size of the Roku just made a good fit hard to get. Also, the weird locking mechanism that holds the straps to the device panel is very difficult to manipulate. You've really got to force it, and don't be afraid here. I definitely got it stuck a few times and had to fiddle with it to get it back out and maneuver it into another hole again. But while I think Sanus is going for secure with this little plastic lock, it's really just poorly fitted in my opinion. I tried the panel with the Roku Ultra attached horizontally as well, but I'm not convinced it's not going to fall through that Velcro strap, so I went back to the vertical option. I added the included second strap and still didn't get a really good fit. The size and the spacing of the holes and the size of the Roku just meant there was nowhere great to run the straps. I think this panel is definitely more suited to smaller streaming devices, but either way it's finicky, and if you're going for that clean look, this just looks kind of haphazard to me. Santa says the streaming device panel is versatile. You can attach devices even if they overhang, they can sit on the lip or be centered. Whatever works as long as the straps are secure. Now overall on this device, I say this device does not seem as universal as it looks, whether that's the type of TV it's going to work on or the wall mount it'll fit on, and it's definitely not going to fit all streamers equally. Now will it work for some of you? I'm sure it will, and I'm sure you'll tell me about it in comments. But for me to not be able to get it to work with a brand new TV or a brand new wall mount or to get a good fit with my Roku streamer, I say you are so much better off with a piece of ultra strong Velcro on your wall. No fussing with that, no manipulating straps and holes and screws and washers, basically no fussing around. 
you want to read more about the Santa streaming device panel, you can head over to blog.bestbuy.ca. We've posted a full blog there and you can ask us any questions you have either there on the blog or of course here on the YouTube channel. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help us keep making more videos that we hope everyone out there can watch, enjoy, and learn from. I'm Erin. Thanks for watching. You can catch me on Twitter or Instagram until the next time at Erin You can also find me at facebook.com slash techgadgetscanada.